Chris, what what are you about to do? Chris, what are you attempting to do? I can't punch her. Well, that's because she's not an old lady. We already established this. <sighs> Fine, I won't punch her in the head. Well, if she was an old lady, it clearly would have already ca uh, caused you to punch her. This is a true repeatedly fact. Repeatedly in the head. The scan. Yeah, it's right here. Here, take a thing. Lifesaver, Adam. This is the stuff that I got from the station. He was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. Wait, why is why is Miller not here? We were supposed to meet Miller. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to Miller in a minute. I'm just giving shit to Smiley first. Miller's upstairs in his office. But he just said Miller left. See? Without my Oh, then yeah, I don't fucking know. Unless it's a case of, you did these quests slightly out of order, so... What's on the scan? Fucked if I know. What? It was supposed to be important shit. It's, I, I said it might be. This is the guy that oversells everything in the meeting, and the weekly meetings, isn't he? Yep. Alright, I could be onto something huge that could change everything for us in the future. If this pans out, then it will be the most explosive thing that ever happened to us here. It, it's gonna completely change everything. <laughs> yep. Next week. So what'd you find? Oh yeah, I, I, ordered, deck a new, I ordered a new Keurig and I installed it. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. You do that. Find out what's on there, because you're looking an awful lot like an old lady to me. <laughs> Why do I imagine that Jensen carries around like a powdered wig? And just, <laughs> just so that he has an excuse to punch old lady. Oh, old lady! <laughs> I love it. I love that this headcanon came around entirely by accident. Because you were you were canceling out of a menu and she just happened to happened be to be right there. Uh -huh. Decked. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there soon. Hold her, Jensen. Old lady puncher. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Jensen, what are you doing with that wig? Nothing. Jensen. Jensen. <laughs> Jensen. Yes. Uh, have you been smoking crack? We found white powder all over your room. No, it's not crack at all. It's powder for my wig. That I don't ever wear. I put on other people. Jensen, why do you have a powdered wig? To punch old ladies. Jensen. <laughs> Jumping on cars to set off the alarm is fun. <laughs> I guess the police officer is confused. Oh, that one... That one. Nope. Oh, but you can search the trunk. Eh, I don't want to steal with a cop right there. He'll shoot me in the face. And now we run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there go the cops. Is it only the, uh... I think it's only the police cars. Oh, okay, pan, pan back up above the car. That's a really cool display. Yes. Terrifying. Tired? Come down my gullet. Oh, the, Wake the, up. Get more done. Is that a train station? Yes. Oh. Can't quite From see. From Versa the, Life. Yeah. Can't quite see what the name of the drug is because it's not entirely clear. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's still a really cool ad, even if slightly disturbing. Yep. That's the kind of thing you'd expect in New York. Oh no, someone attacked the limb clinic. Nah, it's just old and out of use. Well, I would expect so after what happened with the limb clinics in last game. <coughs> yeah, no one has used this limb clinic since the last game. That would make sense. But I have an invisible friend down here. Ooh. And now she's a visible friend. Yay! I prefer visible friends because invisible friends could be old ladies, and then I'd have to punch them. This is true. You and me both. You can tell she's not an old lady because she 
dyes her hair in streaks. Mm -hmm. Old ladies wouldn't do that. No, of course not. They'd either dye it all in one solid color or not at all. True. Streaks in your hair for rebels and rapscallions. And we all know that no old lady ever has ever been a rebel or a rapscallion. Yes, they don't even rouse rabble either. Of course not. That's just that's just absolute poppycock. It is. You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating this city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. How does it handle its Prague problem? <laughs> Not well. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Oh Play look, right you're an AUG. Right Go live in the slums. Ooh. But I think are the next area we go to. Well, I mean, they're gonna have to send us somewhere. There's nothing else to do here except for punch more old ladies. <laughs> True. And once we run out of old ladies to punch, we'd have to move on to punching. They got me out of a tough spot the <gasps> That is the next logical progression. <laughs> Maybe then I could punch the psychiatrist. Wait, wait, no, Chris. I think it's a divergent path. Once you're done with old lady punching, you can either punch normal ladies. Gotcha. Or old guys. <gasps> mm. If we punch old guys, we get to keep using our wig. That's very true. I think we're gonna we'll just trim it a little bit so it's not as long. And oh then... no no no! We won't even need to trim it. Remember, we're in Europe. We can claim they're judges. That's true. Punch an old guys. Listen to this. And then, then we can't be accused of sexism because we're an equal opportunity puncher. It's true. <laughs> we don't just punch old ladies. We also punch old guys. That and then we're fighting justice. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think you're supposed to fight the injustice. Well, Justice is blind. That makes it easy to punch. <laughs> Jensen, we're going to have to reboot you. What? My brain isn't on. <laughs> Hi. What happened? Um, you went on a punching spree. You punched a lot of old ladies. Sounds like me. And then some old dudes. And you claimed you were fighting justice. Sounds to me like Miller's following. Orders. I don't see the problem with this. Like he's not um, you're supposed to fight uh, injustice. Whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. So what yeah, you're telling? Okay, okay, got it. I'm supposed to fight injustice. <laughs> so I punch an old guy, wear him like a puppet, and then use him to beat other people. Because <laughs> then my hand is injustice, and I fight people with injustice. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about personal life? Yes! Excellent! I need an old guy. Beep, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Hello, police? I am the police! Punch! <laughs> Hello, super police? <laughs> Hello, Mega City One? I need you to dispatch Judge Dredd. <laughs> He's the only one that might stand a chance. Because he is the law. <laughs> Why claim them for breaking? <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Death Battle, Adam Johnson versus Judge Dredd. <laughs> I like how we were doing epic rap battles of history voices. <sighs> epic death battles of history! Adam Johnson versus Judge Dredd! We got him! Neither one of us is good at rap. <laughs> it's just. I am the law. I didn't ask for this. I am the law. I didn't ask for this. I am the law. I didn't ask for this. I am the law. But I didn't ask for this. You're not the law. I am the law. Stupid <laughs> 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 printer, go over there. Fuck off. Law. Ooh, cryo container. You should take that with you. I will put this on the stairs right here. I'll come right, back for right it in there. a second. Okay. Well, that, that's that's effectively our new friend uh, friend saw. Yup. Poor friend saw. He did. He, he fell through the elevator. Gosh. It's not even his fault. I like how you were holding him too at the time. It just—he just, was in my hands and, and then just fell. Yeah, it just, it just. No, you can't have a friend. This isn't technically a load zone, but we're reloading you. So. <laughs> okay, 
Let's take our cryo container with us. And now you're holding it like it's a cryo cannon. Oh, stood back up. Cannon! Blam! Nope, oh, fucking jump. So, I'm sorry, I missed that whole conversation. <laughs> um, what are we doing? We're going over this way to meet Miller. I'm trying to remember what that conversation was about. <clears throat> <coughs> Alright, viewer. Let us know what that conversation was about, because we clearly did not touch <laughs> it at all. I know that part of it was her saying, Oh, it sounds to me like Miller's a stooge. Well, yeah, we already knew that. This down over here. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Where's the, the thing? Things. I'll hack things in a second. There's a specific thing I need to find. You need to pick up and take with you. Not that over here. It's on the shelves. There are a couple of interactable. Oh no, I do have to go down here. It's downstairs that I. That is the thing I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing special Access here. Granted. Nope. Eh. Punch. Punch. How do you break open lockers? By punching them. Regular pistol ammo. Money! What I was looking for downstairs, or upstairs, that I was not seeing Cause it's was down this here. picture! With a button behind it that opens a secret door. Secret door! <clears throat> that was a waste of a briefcase. Eh. Five stun gun rounds are actually not a uh, bad thing. Yes, but the fact us. that that was the only thing in it. It was a waste for him to use that much space. In, yeah. In world, it was a waste of a briefcase. Right. That That's... All I'm I'll let you keep your booze. Your absinthe, you can keep it. Don't like uh, licorice. Anomaly. Oh, that's right, firewall. Forgot about that. Trace program initiated. Uh. Quick, stop worm. Eh, no. But, uh, to the right had the firewall. Yep. You stole money. <clears throat> doobly 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 do. Doobly do. Close your secret room and close your secret button door. Stealing all your shit. So cruel. Punching your locks. I, I do question why there is an <clears throat> airplane maintenance shop in the middle of the city. Well, it, it's not originally an airplane maintenance shop. It's what we've repurposed it as. I still question why it's in the middle of the city. Because it's a great disguise place. An airplane shop. Well, it's... The cover is a defunct mannequin shop. I somehow think that that is <clears throat> less... The, the mannequin shop has been there since long before we got here. Okay. We're just using the building. Okay. And we built all this shit underneath it. All right, because the, the mannequin shop is possibly more suspicious <laughs> than the airplane shop in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Use the bathtub, Chris. I don't know you do. I mean, you're getting pretty stinky from punching all those old ladies. But I don't sweat. <laughs> exactly. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll join you next time. Bye. Bye. Never die. I lose my head in the starry skies. Can't change me down. I feel so alive.